All right, so let's analyze our data and see see what we did. Oh, look at that distance, 20 miles on the nose. Um, that is perfect. This ECU should definitely be learned by now, um, no question. So my camera battery rudely expired on me before I was starting to talk about this, so I'm gonna start over on it, but we tracked our ride and we're gonna analyze that. So here's my ride, my river ride. So it was a 43 minute ride, average speed 27 miles an hour, but I was sitting there for a long time. Distance exactly 20 miles, so that's, that's really cool. That means whenever I have to initialize this ECU, I know exactly what I got to do. Max speed, that's a bit concerning, 64 miles an hour. So as this ECU was learning, I only got this bike up to 64 miles an hour. Um, my speedometer on the bike was saying 77, 78. So speedo is way off, which I already know. Um, that's, you know, that's fine. But um, I was hoping to get some more speed out of this bike. I, I can never seem to get this bike up to 70 miles an hour. Maybe it's my gearing. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should try the uh, 15 tooth front sprocket again. But kind of geared this bike up for romping around the neighborhood and, you know, the messing with the kids and stuff when they ride the uh, peewees. So I'm not overly concerned about max speeds, but I, I would like to see that number higher. So I, I'm not sure if the ring gap is causing a compression loss and I'm not getting, getting as much compression as I should be getting, although the bike feels more powerful overall. This bike definitely picked up power, picked up feel. I can wheelie easier, so... I don't know exactly what it is about these little bikes that seems to hit some sort of ceiling or wall when you start getting trying to get top speeds. I'd like to hit 70 miles an hour, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that without going big bore or something more extreme. Basically, it's big bore that I'll have to do. I don't really want to do that. Uh, so I think I'm just going to be happy with between 65 and 70 miles an hour. That's going to be my happy spot. So basically, DHM high compression piston, TB cam, the man in the box M take, Yoshimura exhaust with the spark arrestor in, 14 front, 36 rear gear, uh, the Shinko mobbers, they might be cutting a few miles per hour off. So I'd say if I was a little bit lighter, clocking it at 200 pounds nowadays, a little bit shorter, or I could tuck better, uh, and I had street tires on, this is absolutely a 70 mile an hour bike but in my current state i don't think i'm going to be able to breach that 70 mile an hour mark unless i lose about 20 30 pounds and i'm able to uh tuck myself in better to get the aerodynamics where they should be on the bike which uh i don't really think is going to happen so <laughs> we'll be happy with 64 65 maybe that'll pick up as the ring seat in you know you want to make sure your ring gaps aren't going to close up on you so i'm not terribly sad about that one more thing I wanted to show you that I noticed. I want you to look at the fuel gauge. Can you see the fuel gauge? <laughs> that That is almost back at a half a tank. You saw in the beginning, I filled this bike up to the top with, uh, with the 93 octane. And 45 minutes worth of riding and 20 miles, I gotta say, based on this gauge, that I went through a half a tank of fuel or a quarter of a tank of fuel let's say maybe it's because I'm on an incline let's get it more flat here see if it goes up but that's that's pretty fascinating little uh, tidbit there so with my mods and this piston you're gonna go through some fuel so fuel mileage if you want to do long hauls and fuel mileage and stuff probably should just keep your bike stock stay off of a road that goes faster than 55 because <laughs> uh, the mods really uh, play into your fuel mileage on these little bikes so fun little fact there thanks for watching appreciate all of the subscriptions all the feedback and everything you guys have been doing to help me build my channel so thanks and um, we'll see you on the next one all right.